Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for the Elseworlds crossover, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, I'm actually not going to include the trailer at the start, I've just been having copyright issues with Warner Brothers recently, so it always gets flagged and it stops my videos from getting monetized at all, so I'm just going to leave the link in the description below, I'm sure most of you have seen it by now, it's been out for about a day or so I just haven't been able to get round to actually doing this trailer breakdown because I've just been really busy had a really busy few days so yeah I've got some bonus videos actually coming up to do with the flashes 100th episode it's cliffhanger with Nora and the big twist also I probably have a few more Elseworlds videos before it happens next Sunday so Look forward to that. I got a lot of exciting things to actually go through. So the first shot of the trailer is of Oliver and it's not Oliver. It's Barry in Oliver's body and he has no scars. He's looking in the mirror. He's like, what the hell is going on? And so I think this is great. This just shows at the start of the Flashes episode the way that they're going to sort of react to having each other's different personas and everyone else thinking that this is their normal reality. So you see Oliver aka Barry in this crossover in Star Labs in the Flash costume and this is where we get a pretty funny scene in the trailer and this is of Caitlyn and Team Flash not believing what they're actually being told because Caitlyn talks to Barry that being Stephen Amell about him to do with time travel and our Barry Grant Gustin replies and she's like, no, I'm talking to Barry. So that just gives you a little teaser of what's to come in terms of like everyone else's interactions and how utterly convinced they are that this is their normal reality so then we move on to the next shot and this is of Stephen as Barry and he's inside West Allen's apartment and obviously he's playing Barry right here and he's just sort of like testing out his powers I'm guessing sometime early in the flash episode earlier on in the crossover same thing in this shot you get to see sort of like a twist between Grant Gustin actually playing the Flash and Green Arrow and you see him sort of just looking down like what the hell is happening I'm able to do this like what and so we go to Arkham Asylum where you see this shot of Stephen and Dave and David Ramsey inside Arkham Asylum I think you can see John Deegan actually running in the background Dr. Destiny and we know this is the scene where they actually confront Dr. Destiny, so I'm guessing some sort of chaos is going to rain loose. Perhaps Batwoman appears here and maybe she tries to take it down because it looks like all chaos is breaking loose in the background. So the next shot is of Stephen Amell as the Flash and it's our first actual look at him as he runs. And so it's really, really amazing to see that this different version of the Flash played by Stephen can actually look just as cool as Grant at playing the flash so i don't know it's just a cool concept and i'm looking forward to it and this is when we get to one of the major points in this trailer and it's when the doppelganger of jay garrick aka barry allen from the 90s tv show played by john wesley ship who plays jay garrick who played henry allen over the past few seasons we actually saw him in the 100th episode last episode on the flash so that's just great to see john wesley ship around so much and he's obviously been confirmed to be from Earth-90 from that post credit scene in Supergirl and Arrow and The Flash and he's come to presumably our Star Labs and there is some sort of schematics in the background but what he says and this is of key importance he says a crisis is coming and so obviously when he says that we make the sort of reference to Crisis on Infinite Earths so I think they are definitely teasing it in this crossover with the Monitor being a main character I'm a bit confused about the monitor right now, but I'm guessing we're going to get a lot more answers in the actual episode, because the monitor in the comics is actually a good person, but in this he seems to be like, he's bad, but is he actually testing if our heroes on our earth is strong enough to actually withhold maybe the anti-monitor? if their realities change and their realities sort of collide and get destroyed? Is he sort of reaching out? to a really far extent in order to protect them i don't know that's just a theory yeah i'm a little bit confused about him right now and so the monitor actually says reshape the world as you see fit to dr destiny and this is how he changes it and he does it multiple times at least so earth 90 flash comes to warn us our heroes about the incoming crisis that's about to occur with the monitor actually having that book and 
being able to rewrite reality. So then we move on to a shot of Melissa, Grant and Steven in an awesome lineup and it's just very very superior like and it just looks amazing, it's a nice shot. But then in the voice overlay they say we need to start acting like each other and Grant says I totally meant to do that. So essentially I feel like in this crossover with them switching powers and switching characters I don't think they're actually necessarily going to know how to use their power straight away. We see Grant struggling this new version of Oliver to actually use the bow and arrow but he seems to be good by the end. And also you see Steven sort of stumbling as the Flash, as Barry, but we'll have to wait and see as to how they do that. And the next shot is of Grant Gustin as Oliver. This is so confusing, I hate talking about this. This is honestly like, wow, oh my god. They're switching characters and it's so hard to talk about. <laughs> Are you guys confused? Because I am. And so he takes off the bat symbol and this is when they're in Gotham. And in the trailer there is talk about that they have to go to Gotham to find him and that him is... Doctor Destiny when they're at Arkham Asylum. And the next shot is our first look at Kate Kane in the crossover without her Batwoman costume and hair on. So this is in fact Ruby Rose just as a normal self. You can still see she's got like her tattoos and stuff so she's like a pretty cool character I'm guessing. I really do like Batwoman. I hope she does a good job. Um, I can't really tell from these shots. She looks cool as Batwoman. She just looks rather normal as herself. She just looks like herself. So I'm not gonna judge here but I'm not the biggest fan of Ruby, so we'll have to wait and see. I'm hoping she's a standout, I'm hoping she's brilliant, and I keep my fingers crossed for that. So then we go on, and Stephen actually says, your team betrayed you, and you get to see Ralph actually punching Barry and seemingly knocking him out, and you get to see Stephen actually shouting at Barry, and I think this is sort of in motivation, but also I do think Team Flash will betray him at some point because maybe he thinks he's a bit crazy. Maybe Team Flash think he's a bit crazy due to the fact that they think this reality is their reality actually, so they have no idea. But now we move on to a very interesting shot, and this is on Black Suited Superman's Earth, and you can see in the background one of the guys has a black suited superman house of l symbol and you can see john diggle so he's working for black suited superman and also killer frost killer frost in this new look she's got braided hair she looks absolutely awesome i'm really looking forward to killer frost in this crossover i'm such a big fan of danielle and her persona as killer frost but also caitlin but it's just so exciting like is this another version from another Earth of Killer Frost, that would be so exciting because we've had Earth 1 and Earth 2 and I love the Earth 2 one, I love the Earth 1 one, but the Earth 2 one's like very nostalgic to me because, you know, season 2 is my favourite season and so as we move on, we get a shot on top of a rooftop and you can see Caitlin, Curtis, Felicity and Diggle as they are using some sort of device that is seemingly capturing or garnering red lightning from the skies so i don't know what's happening about that but maybe that's a way into actually rewriting reality back to normal or something but the next shot is really really great and this is of black suited superman tyler hecklin and he's inside his version of star labs and he's seemingly very very angry but then we get to the money shot of the trailer and this is entirely bizarre because last episode on the 100th episode of the flash we got a major cliffhanger, so major spoilers here, but Reverse Flash returns in the future, 2049, and he's revealed to actually be working with Nora West Allen. So that was massive on the Flash, we're still going to be making videos about that over the next few weeks, but Reverse Flash is returning as a younger version of himself, as a normal version of himself, but as Tom Kavanagh in this crossover, and he is seen punching Stephen Amell's Flash, you can just make it out by his sort of beard and it looks like it's Steven but why is he here I'm really really sort of suspicious and I don't really have any ideas apart from maybe he's trying to work with the monitor maybe he's actually a different version of himself but it looks like our version he's not wearing the earth x symbol it's seemingly probably the same version from crisis on earth x but he is coming back he is beating up the flash definitely so he is on the villain side but i don't know his motives but that's just so great to see that reverse flash is returning for this crossover and i'm guessing his motive is probably to change this reality maybe steven's version of the flash isn't as skilled maybe he can kill the flash right here Maybe this is his perfect chance. I don't know, maybe it's linking into like Flashpoint and 
how in the Flashpoint story, like a version of the Reverse Flash essentially comes in in these moments of crisis and sort of manipulates it. So maybe he's like the main overarching villain, but I don't know. It's just so great to see Tom Cavanaugh as a Reverse Flash. And we're getting plenty of that recently. So the next shot is of Supergirl using her heat vision, which is a nice shot. And the final shot of the trailer is of Grant Gustin in the background and Stephen Amell as The Flash throwing lightning in what looks like Arkham Asylum. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been my trailer breakdown for the Elseworlds crossover event. This is coming on Sunday, so get ready for this. This is going to be so awesome. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Strong, it doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like shy.